Hey guys. Alrighty, so I have my clips ready. I ended up adding Twixter on it. First thing you want to do is overlap both of your clips. I also forgot to mention, make sure you pre-compose your clip. We'll just right click it and press pre-compose. After you do this, I'm just gonna over add lava wall. What the heck? Should look something like this. Duplicate the first clip. So control D. After that, add a roto brush. So click this little icon right here. And then we're gonna double click the screen. And then we are going to roto brush our little character. And then if you need to like fix like the extras, hold alt and then the subtraction symbol is gonna pop up. And then you can get rid of whatever part you need. Okay, so after we do this, we can go back into our composition. And After Effects usually does a pretty great job with like roto brushing this. Now, to check if your roto brush looks good, press this eye icon and then boom, our background is gone. Next is we're actually going to use this layer right here, which is our second clip. Put this in between these clips. So it's kind of like a sandwich. And then if we put this under here, we have like the first clip on top of our second very cool what we're gonna do is we're gonna make all these 3d and then after that what you're going to do is make a new no layer shift Control alt y this is gonna bring up a no layer put this on top and make sure this is 3d as well cut this off at the end to link all these on to the null so hold shift click top one click the bottom one and then drag this little thing to the null we can actually move this bottom one right here I'm actually going to make this a different color so we don't get confused. I am going to press this active camera button and change it to custom view 1. Find our roto brush layer. So this one, press P on your keyboard, drag these numbers up. So it should be going negative. But now we need to go back to our active camera, go back to our null, press S, and then you can make a keyframe and then move it towards the end. And then you're going to scale this up some about there. If you need to, go back to custom view 1 and then move this character up some more. So P, move this like up until you like don't see it really. So as you can see, it already kind of gives us like the effect that we want, but not quite there yet. So go back to custom view one. So you're gonna click the bottom layer and you're also going to position this one in the front as well. So match the one on top. So once you match these up, we're gonna go back to our active camera I know it's a lot guys but then we're going to change this bottom layer change the opacity press T on your keyboard and then we're gonna change it to zero make a stopwatch move this up some and then we're gonna go towards the end or whatever and then we're gonna change the opacity to 100 the effect is kind of already there but we just need to add the little keyframes last little part you're gonna go to the snow layer click the first one hold shift click the second one then press F9 on our keyboard. We are going to do a mid graph actually, and we're going to do something like this. Go towards the end actually, once the keyframes all stop, make a keyframe for position, and this should be on the mask layer. Then you're gonna go to the beginning, and then what we're gonna do is change this and like just drag this up until you can't see them anymore. Time, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Okay, so the effect is there, but I realized the second keyframe isn't the same as the background. So change this to negative 873 or whatever your bottom clip is. If you want, you can add motion blur to these. Um, I don't know what that's going to do, but motion blur just makes me happier. You'll also add some blur. We're going to use Gaussian blur. Add it to the maxed out layer. So that's the top one. Change the blurriness to about like 20. Make a keyframe. And then we're going to go towards the end. Change to zero. Boom. Okay, it's kind of stiff. Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video, baby. I love you. And bye. Hey guys. Boy, if you don't get your